Mic check, mic check. What is up, Mountain Slugs? What is up, Mountain Slug? It's spring. The lower and the mid-level trails are finally starting to open. We've had a crazy winter, but man, it's gorgeous. Seeing cactus blooms this year I haven't seen in years, but today it's a new bike day. Now, I know that in the fall I bought a new bike. It was a Canyon Spectral 125 CF9. Great bike, but it wasn't for me. I've been riding hardtail so long, I didn't like it. I searched the webs, did a ton of reading. I was riding the Fuse, I love the Fuse. I almost bought a new Fuse, but I wanted something with a little more travel, that was a little more rowdy, that fit my riding style a little bit. So we have the RSD RS291. Now, unlike the Canyon, I built it, brought it here for the very first ride. I've actually been riding this for a little bit. If you follow me on Instagram, uh, I've been riding this quite a bit. So this is the video introduction to it. This thing is an absolute ripper. It climbs amazingly well for how slack the geometry is. So what I did is I took all the components off of the Canyon because I love the spec on them, sold the frame, to pros closet smoothest transaction ever was phenomenal bought this frame added a stem bars um, i boosted the fork to 150 mil travel instead of the 140 and that's pretty much it it rips um, nothing's changed but i wanted to bring it here because this bike has allowed me to do some stuff on the upper trail that we're going to hit this little downhill section that i couldn't do on the fuse um, it allows me to carry way more speed through some turns and i've actually been able to clear some doubles out of the turn which i couldn't do before so this is a game changer for me um, probably in the future i've been looking at all mountain hardtail probably build one of those up because i think for me and my riding style hardtail's the way to go i don't know what it is about full suspension but i just i don't ride well on them so let's uh rip up to the top and do some downhill Here we go. Drop it in. Much faster. Just uh, hiking my way back up here so I can recession this. All right, here we go. Oh, gotta go. Rock guard in here. Table. Oh, yeah. Here's that turn and that double. Low town. All right, so we've already got some great footage uh, of the downhill trail. One thing I wanted to talk about, which is different than any other bike I've had. So we've been riding some pretty dusty conditions and had this horrendous creak in this bike. I couldn't figure out where it was. I thought it was a bottom bracket. I tore the bottom bracket part, cleaned it, reinstalled it, still there. What it ended up being, a word of caution, when you put these sliding dropouts, they're already on pull them off and just put a very, very, very fine, thin layer of grease because those two rubbing together was creating a lot of noise. Uh, I cleaned it up yesterday, put it, put it on there and it's, it's dead silent. Other than that, I have no, nothing bad to say about this bike. It climbs really well, descends amazing. It's fun at the bike park. It's fun on the trails. We'll get it in the, the skate park, mess around on it, see how it does. But it's fantastic. I did forget to mention, I did put a bash guard on this just because it, it gets used and usually it's my chain ring and chain that take the abuse. 
I know I had one chain that lasted me three days last season on the fuse, so they do get beat up, but phenomenal bike. All right, well, that's a wrap, Mountain Slugs. Remember, keep inching your way to the top. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and keep ripping it. Stay tuned. Hey mountain slugs, just a fun, hey mountain slugs, just a friendly reminder. When you're out here in all this beauty, take time to sit and just chill. I like to sit here and just listen and breathe. That's all it takes couple minutes. Enjoy your ride.